Uh, I've come, I come across a couple things here. And I think I'll show you people. First among them is this little unit here. An Oak Cancom. A scrambler. And... Adam, it says... Oak Communications, Converter, mono, Model Number, Mono Orion. Acceptance day is 9334. No FCC ID or anything. But, all it's got on the front is power, signal, authorization, and back panel connectors. Of course. 150 milliamp is auto reset fuse mute switch CLR audio in audio out CLR audio adjust video in video out and channel 34 output the has one of these little stickers on the side it says warranty void if seal altered or tampered I think I've already done the tampering on this, so let's make what is inside the old sucker. From uh, what I can see here, it looks to have a relatively straightforward linear power supply with a couple of positive voltage regulators, negative voltage regulators, line frequency transformer, and toroid filter, or a filter, has a big freaking aluminum plate mounted on line frequency transformer to keep it from getting too hot to help dissipate the heat. The rest of the board looks relatively plain Jane, except for this thing mounted upside down on top. I'd say whatever interesting is going to be under there. Take a couple screws out. Take a quick look. And we find three larger plastic dips. I need to take the time to look up the information on some of these. Top two ones I couldn't really find anything on. They seem to be proprietary related stuff, probably to do most likely to do with the scrambling and access control. While the bottom one is a proverbial short bus of microcontrollers uh, the, based on the F8, Fairchild F8 microcontroller, which down here running at 4 megahertz on that crystal stuff. So it's basically not much to do, uh, not much to work with here as far well as this microcontroller is a single time programmable. And there's no way to override that program with an external unit. So all we've got left here for experimentation is the rest of the inside, which is filled with a good assortment of 4000 series logic, CMOS logic and stuff, and some Motorola. ICs, amplifiers, and the like. But, literally, this board doesn't really got much in it to look at. So, I'll move on to the next item of interest. See you there.